Do I need to know assembly level language for malware analysis? Okay, you want to take this, Alexis? Um, yeah, so I think it's it's more of a rhetorical question, and I know why uh, why many people ask it is because assembly can it can be quite complex to to understand and to master, but you really don't need to master assembly language. Um, so to answer your question, firstly, yes, it's extremely useful to know uh, malware anal- uh, uh, assembly language uh, for malware analysis, and uh, uh, again, uh, typically because um, uh, f- from whatever point of view you look at it, uh, whether you're performing static analysis or dynamic analysis, it will all uh, so, so sort of converge into you uh, actually needing to reverse engineer the malware. And in order, in order for you to reverse engineer the malware, uh, you need to know how to read assembly code because the disassemblers will disassemble the binary or the executable and in some cases will give you uh, either C or, uh, or, or uh, assembly code. And uh, more so, I think it's very important to, to know how to read the code than to write it because that's more what you'll be dealing with. So I would say focus on, on understanding registers uh, and, and how they work, uh, what, what the, the, the different registers do. Once you know that, you'll, you'll, you'll have the gist of it. Now, if you are struggling to, to, to get a grip of assembly, I, I would say uh, one, one of the best books uh, that covers this and has been a great reference for me even till today is a book called The Art of Assembly Language. So this pretty much covers all the essentials that you need to know to write uh, and of course to, to, to actually read assembly code and to, to sort of understand what's going on. But I, I would recommend uh, going through the registers because they're, they're the, the most important aspect of it. Fellas, check out my Python Basics course to learn the fundamentals of Python you need in cybersecurity. There's a discount link in the description. I think the, the art of assembly language is by no starch, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah it is. Okay, so uh, I don't have too much to add on this. What I would actually like to say, so do I need to know assembly language for malware analysis? Probably the short answer is not necessarily. You don't need to know. Same as you don't need to know coding for penetration testing or bug bounty hunting. But, uh, and the big but here is that uh, you don't need to know, but it is very useful if you do. So if you have a lot of experience as a malware analyst or as a penetration tester or as a bug bounty hunter, uh, you know where to look into the code for potential weak spots. Uh, Mm -hmm. So you actually know what to look for and how to look for. This is if you have a lot of experience. Uh, And also you would have some, uh, if you know assembly language, for malware analysis, for example, uh, or for reverse engineering, or if you know some sort of coding for penetration testing or bug bounty hunting, you will have a lot of a, you would have a, an advantage over other people who do not know that. Because uh, in terms of like, for example, assembly for malware analysis, uh, you will uh, know or you will be able to understand uh, and debug how the instructions are being sent uh, to the to the assembler. So you will also know if you know assembly. Um, you'll also know how malware is able to execute what is executing instruction by instruction, and you will be able to trace through the instructions and through memory. So um, you, the short answer to the question is not necessarily. You don't need to know assembly. Uh, for malware analysis, but it would be a very big plus if you do. Yeah, that, 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 that was a very good point uh, in regards to uh, to behavioral analysis, where you uh, you actually uh, mentioned uh, executing the code um, in in a debugger or a, or a disassembler and sort of watching it through every step. Um, so, uh, just going back to the question, uh, you can you can uh, definitely explore areas like dynamic and behavioral analysis where you're pretty much looking at what the malware is doing in a sandbox environment. So taking a look at, for example, if you're dealing with a Windows uh, executable or a portable executable, you're, uh, you, you would t- take a look at uh, what traffic is being sent through, you know, using a tool like Wireshark. So traffic analysis, um, you then have um, 
uh, you then be, you'll then be taking a look at the registry, looking at what registries are being created, and you know so on and so forth. So, uh, definitely, it's it's a very useful uh, skill to know because it's it enhances your understanding of how the malware works that way. So, a very good point there, fellas. YouTube enabled memberships for my channel, so you can now come into my closed circle and into the private live chats. Click the join button to learn more. Um, just to, to add another thing here, um, I don't know. I mean, there are a lot of people that, that ask this question. Do I need to know to code in order to be successful in cybersecurity, whatever subfield you would be wanting to work on? You do not know. You, you don't have to know, but it's going to help you a lot, not only in cybersecurity, but in other aspects of your uh computer science perspective or in 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 uh, it it not only is going to help you in computer stuff but it also knowing how to code is going to help you how to think algorithmically which is really important in many aspects of life you might not see the parallels if you don't if you do not know how to code but you will see the parallels or the analogies when you know how to code and probably the easiest way. So assembly might be a bit like um, scary for a lot of people, uh, but you, you could start uh, by learning the aspects of programming or by learning the structure of a language using Python, which is probably the easiest to start with, one of the easiest to start with. And once you know those uh, like concepts of programming, which applies to most, if not all, uh, the programming languages, it would be much easier to you to look into other languages. I mean, over here, it might be a bit of a stretch because assembly is kind of a different thing in of its own, uh, but it's still, it's still not as hard as some people might think. And like Alexis said here, it's not that you, you'll be uh, having to write entire programs in assembly or in assembler, but you would uh, look for the ability to know how to read assembly, not how to write assembly.